Hi, I'm Barry Ashworth from the Dub Pistols and uh, welcome to our press kit. This is all for you, all for you baby. When I met Jason, I don't know, it just sort of feels right. And I think when we're working in the studio now, it's quite telepathic. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, we under both know exactly now what we want and what we're sort of looking for. I started working on, uh, working on remixes with Barry. Um, we first did a remix for Apollo 440. And then we started working on album tracks for the first album, which was Point Blank. And uh, from then on in, I just joined the band and we carried on from there. Our new album is Six Million Ways to Live. It took about a year and a half to make the record, yeah. It took about a year and a half. I mean, it took about six or seven months of that was just making rubbish. Just didn't like anything we did, but was trying every avenue because we knew we had to be a bit different and wanted to take it somewhere else. We wanted to do something a bit more in tune with what we were listening to, or try to at least. I live in West London, a you know, very Afro-Jamaican sort of community, and that had a big influence on our on the album itself because it's quite a lot of sort of dub and reggae and King Tubby sort of influence. Hip hop to ska to dub to rock, all sorts in there. The majority of uh, our new album was recorded at home in London. A lot of it was done in uh, my front room. We also had a lot of other kind of musicians and stuff playing it as quite a, like a collective kind of thing on this album, as opposed to just a you know a couple of people. It was quite daunting at first. I didn't. Uh, didn't really know what to expect and we did most of the vocals in Barry's front room. Turned up in a gold and orange shell suit with his Jamaican Guinness and a couple of women and come in and started singing in my front room, you know. We turned up really late for the session as most kind of reggae artists I guess do. I mean I knew quite a lot about him but I didn't realise his nickname is Sleepy or whatever because he has his ability just to fall asleep at any, anywhere, any time. He had done the main vocal and he was doing backing vocals. For about 20 minutes I just kept rewinding the tape and sort of thinking, he's not singing, why is he not singing? Sort of to Jason and it's all right. Like, starting to snore. What do we do? Do we wake him up? Do we tap him? We didn't really know what to do because we were like in awe of the guy. We didn't want to wake him up. We didn't really quite know what to do, but luckily he kind of came round and we got the track finished, so that was cool. And we wrote most of the lyrics for that and you couldn't stop writing, you know, usually you got stuck for words. But when someone like that opens their voice, every single word sounds brilliant. Submarine scene. From the sky. Generally I DJ probably three, possibly four nights a week. It's just you, a box of records and a crowd. Do you know what I mean? And a vibe. The difference between doing that and having a whole band around you, which is, is I don't know which, which is the better buzz. They're both, they're both really good buzzes. I guess having five of your mates around you on stage and having a laugh is you know, it's absolutely brilliant. My normal role is to be an engineer uh, producer in the studio. I'm playing the bass when we go out live. Hi, I'm DJ Styx. I'm uh, with the Dub Pistols. Styx is uh, quite a quiet guy, an absolute fucking genius on the turntables. <laughs> My name's uh, Johnny Young from the Dog Pistol. I'm the guitar player. Bang! John. John. Oh, John. When we were on the plane, plane on the way over here, John uh, got quite carried away and managed to spill all his drinks all over me, and we had a bit of a fight on the plane. So <laughs> <laughs> I never told him that. We all know about Johnny now. He's an absolute brilliant performer. His, his stage performance is uh, fantastic and he's a good guitar player. Hey Johnny, watching you. Oh man, it's pleasing this place. I know 
know, man. I know there's fucking fleas in this bus. We're taking TK with us this time from Sight Beyond Light. He's going to do the vocals along with Barry. TK is TK. He likes to sit on the sofa. He's so laid back. If he was any more laid back, he'd be like, you know, horizontal. We started uh, working together basically through the mail. I sent him some vocals. Uh, he laid them down on some tracks. His vocals are very powerful and very deep. He just needs a sofa. Sometimes I think we have to take a sofa on stage and he just likes having a smoke. Stand strong so I maintain through the snow or rain. I fucking brush my teeth for beer today, boy. <laughs> vodka, beer, vodka, beer, vodka, beer. You know, I'm a little bit sort of more extrovert, if you like. Barry is a crazed out guy, man. <laughs> I've got some new tattoos. It's kind of like a, a walking whirlwind, really. Architect, it's a new millennium. Bear for combat. Architect, we um we recorded that in the vocals in Los Angeles for that with a guy, Planet Asia. A really funky vibe. And it just felt right. Do you know what I mean? And, it, and after that the album came together really quickly. Squad's done, step up and get some now. Come on. I mean the ASIA, but we're on top of back with the force of a natural disaster. The opposite of the track to be your react back to the essence. We wanted to work, really wanted to work with like uh, Terry Hill from the specials. When I was growing up in the 80s, they were like a huge band, so it was great to work with them, really. We were really sort of a bit worried about whether or not he would, how he would take going back and us doing a Scar record. It's been like God knows how many years, and I'm sure every time everyone, everyone meets him, like, we're doing specials, we're specials, specials. And he absolutely loved the record again, turned up around my house and, you know, delivered to me one of the best vocals. The problem is, the problem is, the future is not what it was. You beauty! See, that's what I don't think people realise is how, how much we have to suffer to make sure we can still give it the way we want it. No, we owe it to you. you. Yeah, this is all for you. All for you, baby. Official chemical, what can you say? <laughs> it is official chemical, you know. Where does the chemical come in? We're well, chemical generation. We sent out uh, about eight loops for different, well, not to different vocalists, to uh, the crew site Beyond Light in New York. They picked the loop out, which was quite surprising for us because it was probably the least hip hop loop that we gave them. It was just a bass line and a drum loop to start with, and then we added more guitars. We were kind of interested to see how it come out because it was kind of unusual. It was more like a, almost like a drum and bass feel to the original idea. To be quite honest, it's a ton of cheap. <laughs> One take only, that's all you get. It's not a performance video. We've got Barry, who's the lead guy from the Dub Pistols. Alex Durakoff. Now that's a little bit suspect of ever other the suspect name. Alex Durakoff. By some official chemicals, which is the name of the track, from a, a group of triad gangsters. Deliver them back to the government and then fuck off. That's, that's the nature of the video. He got his scripts and it was just like, that's it. It's brilliant. 
jumping out of vans, drive chasing people down the road, and it's, it's like, it was a really good, you know, good laugh to make. He's a natural actor. He does a lot of acting in Britain, and he's been brilliant. And he's a good sport. And he got hit by a car, and he still carried on filming. The next thing I know, this mini bus just hit me. <laughs> and just threw me about 20 foot. I don't know where it came from, I don't know how it came out, but the poor girl just got out, burst into tears and run off. We just kind of did what we wanted and just said, you know, that's what the album will be. We're not gonna, we're not gonna try and copy the first album or you know, carry on with the same thing. It just came out how it came out, really. Our new album, Six Million Ways to Live, is in the shops. If you can't afford to buy one, stay here. We give you what you want, we give you what you like. Sight me all like, it's a pistol. Official chemical, visual missile. Official chemical, visual missile. We give you what you want, we give you what you like. Sight me all like, it's a pistol. Official chemical, visual missile. Official.